How many times this year are we going to have to do this? I'm not getting any younger, you know. After getting the entry on the lottery in 2020, I deferred to 2022 and it's finally happening. All checked in, ready for the flight to Chicago. I just had a egg and cheese brekkie and I'm ready to go. And hang on. There seems to be something moving in my bag. Hmm. Trav. Landed at O'Hare on my way to the blue line to get into the city. So I'm glad that I pre-activated a venture card <laughs> on the phone. Days to be prepared. Oh, I would learn later that would not matter. Well, that was interesting. Did not expect so much entertainment on the L train. Made it. Heading over to Pack and Pickup, and this is gonna be the largest expo I think I've ever, well, I will have had ever seen. Getting here was not without its drama, I will tell you that. The prepaid venture card in preparation from the trip is not working. It goes the $30 I put into it. Getting here was a mile from the red line, I believe it was, where it started raining the moment I got off the train. As Soon as I pull up, the rain stops. I sincerely hope that this is the worst of it. I think I will let Trav take it from here. Got my packet, now it's time to go over in the expo. giving out free samples is completely beyond me. I got a fever, and the only cure is more cowbell. So that was the expo. I made out like a giant bandit. Unfortunately, it is raining outside. I still don't have an umbrella. It'll be interesting finding my way back up north. Travis, wasted again.
Okay, I just had a very delicious dinner that was a Mexican and Lebanese hybrid taco situation. And they put za'atar seasoning on the sweet potato fries that I had. Mm -hmm. Bit of a recap of day one and day two. Flight getting into Chicago and the actual Marathon Expo were wonderful, but what was unfortunately sour, the CTA being on hold for a phone for over an hour. You think you come prepared to a new city and then you get sobered up very quickly. That all said, day two, the Museum of Ice Cream, the local yarn shop had some very interesting hybrid cuisine. I even ate an authentic Chicago dog. I was on that tilt that you hold in the very top of the tower and they tilt you forward. Tomorrow Tomorrow is just gonna be a very light day. I'm not expecting to be on my feet any more than I really need to. We'll see what goes on. It's probably gonna be a coffee shop day. End of day two, and ultimately just had a quiet day. The only big thing that really occurred so far was waiting in a long line trying to get into the Nike store for some more swag. I'm just in for a pasta dinner here tonight at Volare Ristorante. All right, so my legs feel rested, my belly is full, and I even got my flat runner out. I guess this is the time where I do one of those TikTok-like transitions. You know, put my hand to the camera and when I move my hand away, I'm already ready for tomorrow. So um, let's see if that works.